Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good Friday morning to you. This is Rusty78609, Lano, Texas. On a cool morning, or cold me. But uh, you know what, guys? If everything goes right, next Friday morning, we'll wake up in our new home. Hopefully, if everything goes right. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I, am I a little nervous about it? Well, yeah, of course I am. Yeah, anybody would be. But yeah, next Friday we'll be uh, rolling, ho hopefully. Anyway, I'm still in my 2019 Casita right now, 17-footer. And next week I'll be in a 22 feet, 22 feet, 22 foot, uh, four winds tw uh, motorhome, hopefully. And uh, what else? Uh, Long-time, full-time RVer. Today, today, I'm getting here, guys. Just let me wake up. <laughs> Today is the first day of the rest of your life. The first day. Make it a good one. You're in charge of it. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now. Make it a good one. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Llano, Texas? The current temperature in Llano is 27 degrees. With a high of 59. We've got a little warm-up next week. Thank goodness that works out well for me. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 30 degrees. With a high of 48 and a low of 30, 10% chance of rain. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte right now, it's 8 degrees. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 2. That's pretty That's pretty windy because it shows a high of 42 and then a low of 8 with 0% chance of rain. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is 6 degrees. With a low of minus 13 and a 10% chance of snow or blizzard. But anyway, why do I do those every morning? Because I want to, that's one. But they're purely random. They're, 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 I attach no importance to them other than they're in different geographic locations in the U.S. You know, Montana's kind of over here to me. And then the Bangor, Maine's kind of over there. And then... Fairbanks is over there. <clears throat> so, you know, it kind of gives me an idea of what's going on around the U.S. That's all I do it for. But anyway, these are my, ga it's my gang back here. <clears throat> That's Matilda, the trash can. That's This is the real Matilda with the wheels and the handle and the whole thing. So, yeah, that's when she, this is when she was a baby. But anyway, that's Trenton Clump. That's some bananas. Mr. Bojangles and Gumby and all that stuff that people have sent me over the years. And uh, anyway, what else have we got? That's a pillowcase somebody made me with RVs all over it. Olive oil's bras. A smiling face and a sticker that says life is better in a casita. And pretty soon it's going to be better in a Class C RV, I hope. But anyway, what else? Uh, hey, Google. Tell us a joke. Today's forecast includes a 100% chance of showers. Compliment showers. You're awesome. Mm. <laughs> what can I say, man? A group of visitors to a national park were discussing recent sightings. If you meet a bear, don't run, one person said. His friend said, really, why? The answer, bears like fast food. You might want to write that one down in case you're out of a national park. But anyway, we're moving right along here. What did I forget? Ah, the quote, the quote, the quote. Here we go, the quote button thing. Just put, press the button and you get a quote. I don't have a bank account because I don't know my mother's maiden name. Paula Poundstone. Now there's a more truth and fiction to that. But anyway... If you get it, I mean, you know, they want your mother's maiden name, your great uncle's cousin's sister's name. Anyway, Rob Towen. Is it cold enough for a fireside beer 30? I thought about that. Haven't done one of those in a while. Could do one today, maybe, because I certainly don't have anything else on the agenda. Yeah, we may do that today. Yeah, if I can think of something to talk about. So if you don't get a noon video, look forward to a beer 30 uh, fireside chat. Maybe, good idea. Cause I, you know, I about beat. You know, y'all probably y'all are getting tired of hearing about the Class C, aren't you? <laughs> well, I can't think of anything else to talk about. 
Anyway, this is on an old video, the Kindle e-reader versus a real book. Alicia Tan, Tan, I like it if old people review stuffs because I'm pretty sure they'd be honest and funny in some way. Well, I gave you an honest, I gave you my opinion, whatever it's worth. Uh, this is on the motorhome. Ha ha, just a, just a Dave says, ha ha, giddy, happy, rusty, enjoy your weekend. Well, thank you. I plan to. I'm in charge of it. Sea Lion, step number 806, done. Very happy for you and your new home. Yeah, I just picked a random number and it came out 806. <laughs> thank you, Sea Lions. <coughs> Glenda Phillips, almost there. Yippee. Yeah, I hope they give me a call today from the dealership, but I'm not that optimistic. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Thank you, Glenda Phillips. Almost there. Yippee. Yep. Chili Man 321. Right on, Rusty. Enjoy. Yeah, we're rolling, baby. CR, an exciting video. Yeah, I, I said B I D E O, and I meant V I D E O. Do I make mistakes like that? All the time, guys. I get the date wrong. I get, I make every mistake you can make, but I don't edit the video, so you're getting it all unvarnished, so to speak. This is D D O, I guess. Woohoo! Congratulations! Thank you. This person's name is Meat Eater. This is the best video I've ever seen, and it's about the electric space heater, room heater. Though the one that wouldn't work, I made it work. <clears throat> yeah, that was this one I'm using right now. The little uh, what do you call it, Polonis thing. And Google's restarting again every morning, same time. James Sams, hi Rusty, my wife and I live in southern Indiana, 80% 80% of US RVs are built in northern Indiana in Amish country. We got to tour the building of our 22 foot coachman trailer, we got oh, the building the coach was built in, half of the workers were Amish, good hard working people. Well just remember they're people, okay, they're still human, but yeah that's good, I mean I hope they did a good job on mine, yeah, and, and it, yeah a lot of it of course, a lot of it depends on the people, of course, you know, and their attitude at the time they're doing the work. But, you know, also the materials, you know, actually the manufacturer of the uh, Class C doesn't add a lot. I mean, just the box, you know, the refrigerator and all the other stuff come from somewhere else. Uh, of course, the roof materials, they, they furnish that <clears throat> and the flooring. But the, uh, the chassis comes from Chevrolet in my case, you know. So, you know, it's it's basically a van build is all it is. Uh, as Stanley Smith, now you have to find a little lady to keep you happy, keep you happy and up. No, <clears throat> I'm fine. But no, I don't, I like women. I, I like them too damn much. That's why I'm broke. <laughs> Darlene Huth, happy for you just in time for Christmas. Yeah, just in time. You're right. This person's name is Be Nasty. I hate to know if they... Well, be nasty. Guess what? You're, you just became uh, food for uh, Matilda. Here's your breakfast. You want you want scrambled eggs with uh, pancakes, a little maple syrup. Here it comes, baby. Let me open your big mouth so you can get this comment in there. This is just a sick comment, man. Get some weird dudes, man. Mmm, good. Mmm, good. <laughs> Here we go. Bart Maverick. Congratulations, Rusty. Glad you got your Class C RV headed to Texas now. Me too. Ken, 3080911. I'm a positive Ken. Love the news. Soon, Rusty. I can hardly wait. You love the news? Oh, this news. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Ken. Joyce Barnett. Wow, wow, wow. With all that excitement, I bet you will have trouble sleeping. Well, actually, um, yeah, I'm a little restless. <laughs> I am so happy for you. I am really excited to see the new rig. It is really wonderful to see great things happen for you. Stay safe and happy RVing. Thank you, Joyce. Arthur Gearlitz, binge watching some old videos. I like your mask, ha ha ha. Try wearing that one out in public, comedy gold. Oh, that was when I took a trash bag and cut some eye holes in it and I called it the, the mask of the Amontillado. Well, that, that's a takeoff on a, uh, uh, a uh, Edgar Allan Poe book called The Cask of the Amontillado, which was a wine cask. <clears throat> they went down in the cellar to get some wine, and he locked the guy in. 
Anyway, Sunflower 555 USA, Texas. Seas News, almost there. Very, very happy for you. Can't wait to see it very soon, babe. S. Crawford says, Woohoo, so happy for you. An early, whoa, where'd we go? Uh, an early Christmas present for you. Yep, sure enough. You know, something I, I found out yesterday. Let me see if I made a note. I think I did. Let's see if I did. Yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, Apple computer has come out with you know, they they use an arm chip in their 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 phones and stuff the phones the apple phones now the new ones have more computing power and compute quicker than laptops how about that so you know you could actually use your phone to replace your laptop almost i guess and also there's a place you can get some softball news <clears throat> that i've checked out it's okay um uh, it's called uh, Morning Brew, and it's free, and they just give you a kind of a synopsis, and it looks all right to me. I've checked it out a few times, but the name of the, the website is Morning Brew. Yeah, it's news, and it's softball. For those of you that want to get some softball news, I mean, it's still the news. It just takes out a lot of the stuff. Anyway, uh, S. Crawford, woohoo, happy for you, an early Christmas present. I probably read that one. Thank you. Frank James, Jesse James' brother here. <clears throat> Where'd you go, Frank? There you are. <clears throat> Says, I'm happy to hear it's all coming together. I recently retired and was thinking taking a job as an RV delivery driver so folks like you can get their dreams a little quicker while you're still young. Well, let me tell you something. They need drivers. I guarantee you. Check them out, babe. Good luck, Frank. Medman48. What are you doing with the casita? <laughs> it's sold. Erlene Griffin, well, hell yes, that's what she said. Thank you, Erlene. Uh, we're having trouble loading them out here this morning. Texan Lulu, woohoo, getting closer. Yep, it sure is. Beverly Seifert, so excited for you. You made me laugh with your happiness. Well, man, it's hard to contain it. I mean, you know, you get some good news, and finally, after three months, <clears throat> yeah. Charles Harris, Carpe Motorhome, Air Diem. I know I hear you, Carpe. Tom Fowler, congrats, Rusty. Do you know how much joy you bring us Rangers? Rangers, Rangers. There's my T-shirt that says Rusty's Rangers, and underneath it says Rusty78609. Get it on Teespring. <clears throat> anyway, it says, do you know how much joy you're bringing us Rangers? We're all so happy for you. Your enthusiasm is contagious. Well, I hope it is because I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to enjoy their life. The best they can because uh, you know if you don't you're not getting a lot of other positive input let me say that <clears throat> WTBM 123 happy for you yep thank you Brian Melton congratulations <clears throat> gonna be extra good beer 30 tonight it was it certainly was thanks for the update uh, Mr. C hello Mr. C that's right after Mr. B uh, Rusty, you mentioned at one time you were getting good gas mileage towing your casita with the Ram. Yeah, around 16, that's correct. Can you t please tell me what engine and gear? I've got a V6 with 321 gears. Okay, that's it. It's a 2017 Ram, V6, 321 gears. A regular cab, short bed. Ramona Rain, so happy for you. Rusty, it makes me happy to see or to know that others are. Yeah, I'm Try to be happy every day, you know. It's uh, it, the world's trying always. It, there's always something trying to pull you down. Your phone will screw up, or laptop, or the oven won't come on, or something. You know, there's always a something to do. James Ortiz, thumbs up to you. Esther Webb, Rusty, hooray! <clears throat> a happy motorhome class C is coming home. Happy for you. Yeah, to you driving my motorhome down the highway. Thumbs up to you. Take care of my home. You know, it may be an RV to you and a job, but it's my home you're driving down the highway. <laughs> anyway, Nancy N., the flame on the cross. Never mind, we stay out. Of, we don't do uh, religious stuff. Thank you for your input. Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, Lucille Hart, which model are you getting? So excited. I'm getting the Thor 4 Winds 22E 2021 on a 2020 Chevy chassis. Peggy Bagley, love is beautiful, but it can also hurt like hell. Yeah, this is Beer 30 Live at 6. 
Yeah, well, actually, you you wonder why that four-letter word hurts so much or can be so painful. And, uh, yeah, we do. We form attachments, man. We do. And, and it, you know, it's kind of like we kind of glue each other together. <clears throat> and when we get pulled apart, it's a real strange feeling. I've been there many times. Uh, yeah, there's not just one love, though, I can tell you that. I've fallen in love with a lot, you know. Bruce Johnson, couldn't happen to a better YouTuber, Rusty. Thank you, Bruce Johnson. Nancy Guzwa, you are so excited. That's awesome, Rusty. It's a good feeling to be excited. Yeah, it is. Sure it is, man. Yeah, that's what life is. You know, you want to add a little flavor, you know. This is Lou D. Thumbs up. <clears throat> BJ Smith says, holy cow, I have not had this much fun and anticipation expectation since I went to Europe via business class upstairs on the plane. I got a bottle of Prosecco to open when you have your first O oh, beer 30 lots of luck well thank you bj smith i haven't flown in so long and i don't miss it mabel lane hi hey rusty cheer up don't be so down oh talking about the, uh, the the way i was excited she's just a little tongue-in-cheek you know thank you mabel lane jennifer lazar laser woohoo can't wait to see it me either jennifer uh i've you know it's, this is like a mail order bride you know i've never been inside one of these rvs in my life I've been in some Class C's and uh, similar, but and, and have I ever driven this unit? No. Do I know anything about it? Not other than what I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> so this is a mail order bride coming from the Sears catalog. Class C. Drifty G, G, Drifty G Ma Mary, awesome news for you. Thank you. <clears throat> William Bingham, yippee back at you. Congrats, the other Mr. Bill, Bill thank you. One rider, one three zero zero one. I'm tickled for you. Well, I'm tickled for me too. Thank you, James Robbins. Congratulations, Rusty. Merry Christmas. Thank you, James Robbins. Gala Etheridge. <clears throat> LOL. I love it, Rusty. So excited, and I don't blame you. Can't wait to see it. Hope you'll take us along for a ride and give us the grand tour. Go, Rusty. Thank you, Gala. Don't worry. You'll be sick of that Class C. You're going to see, you're going to know more about, you're going to know as much about a Class C as you know about a Casita. I've done the bottom of the Casita, the top of the Casita, the inside of the Casita, the outside of the Casita. I've done Casita <laughs> every way you can do it, so I'll do the Class C the same. <clears throat> Kathy Bowen, rah, 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 sis, boom, ba, push them back, push them back, way back. Hey, this ain't high school, but Kathy and Vinny, congratulate you. Rusty, thank you, Kathy Bowen. In our little hometown, I think, of Lano, I think they're going to play in the state championship. I'm not sure about that. Hey, Google, what is the record for the Lano High School football team 2020? <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can hey, try. Hey, Google, Lano, Texas, high school football. Sorry, I don't know how well, to help you, with that. You ain't worth Here are clue. other things you can if you don't know that, you don't know nothing. <laughs> anyway, Fred Hurst, nice you called dealer per Thor request, but Thor should have called and lined er and lined everything up. You will love a Class C, stay safe. Actually, Fred, I, I, I like the fact that I called. Why? Because I knew it got done. <laughs> All right? I mean, if he said, well, I'll call him, I don't know if it got done or not. I called. I know he knows. So if I get there and something's wrong, I, I get to get on him. A.I. Marvin. Well, Santa's coming. Yeah, old Santa's coming, driving my Class C down the highway. Michael Colley, we'll do three more, four more. Uh, Rusty, I'm sure you've already figured this out. Your Class C might not be acceptable to you right away. Oh, it's, it's well, no, it's fine. You know, I mean, no, I'm, I'm going to do the, what I'm going to, my plan is, and I'll stick to it, man. Once I have a plan, I'm going. Uh, no, I, I, the rent car I've got is to be dropped off in Claiborne, Texas, and I've already contacted them. They said bring the car by, and they drive me back to the dealer. And as soon as I get all my stuff moved into the the Class C out of the car, uh, then uh, <clears throat> I'll do a walkthrough with the with the service person, and then I'll I'll drive the rent car back and have them bring me back to the dealership. I'll go over a few things again, and by then I'll have all settled all up. But no. Uh, I'm not worried about the acceptance of the RV, Mike. Thank you, Michael. Shiloh Nanny, love to see you or anyone so happy and excited about life. 
Proton Neutron, holy cow, that's a big RV dealer. You ain't kidding, babe. They are dad gum big. Anyway, I don't see one here from uh, from uh, Levi Brewer. Levi Brewer is on the road again. He's going back to Capitan, New Mexico to uh, uh, his uh, bed and breakfast. Good for you. He'll have his dog again. Everything will be wonderful. He got to go check out the world. Now he knows what, the, what he's faced with if he decides to do something on the short term again. And I think that's great. So if there's anybody in the Las Cruces area, because he's going to arrive there on a bus, I don't know, sometime today or tomorrow from the Carolinas, uh, and uh, yeah, give him a ride. Some of you Marine Greens, uh, you got a Marine coming in there uh, that's going to be riding his thumb from Las Cruces to uh, Capitan, uh, New Mexico. I don't know how you could find out when he's going to arrive. I can't. Uh, he didn't say exactly what day. But maybe you can check with the uh, bus station in Las Cruces and find out what time they get arrivals from uh, uh, the Carolinas. Or, you know, I don't know how you'd do it, but something. Anyway, <clears throat> AI Marvin says, well, Santa's coming. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> what else can I say, guys? Next week at this time, we'll be in a Class C, I hope. If we are, we did good. If we're not then we just have to be patient. <laughs> anyway, guys, from Central Texas, Lano, and an ungated community, RV Park, this is Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Amazon takes care of me. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. And uh, carpe diem means seize the day. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. Also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. And you will not want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to really lose weight is, hate to tell you, eat less. And it ain't easy. Having said that, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it, do it, do it. Several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer because of it. Healthier, longer. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all those little neurons in there are forming all of your thoughts, your consciousness. So give them good ingredients, okay? Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. You can read it. Try that softball channel I mentioned called Morning Brew. And what else? Uh, uh, that comes from a channel called Cold Fusion. If you ever watch his videos, Cold Fusion, yeah, he's sponsored by Morning Brew. Yeah, and, and I've watched his channel a lot, so I checked it out, it, and I think he's right. It's a good softball news channel. But anyway, uh, what else? Uh, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, live your life one day or one moment at a time. Uh, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, uh, bye-bye. Until uh, next time, will I do a lunchtime video? I might do a short one if I get a call from uh, the RV dealer. Uh, or I might do a short driving video if I go to check my mail today. I'm expecting some stuff in the mail. So we'll see. Uh, we'll, don't worry. You, you'll get plenty to watch. <laughs> anyway, adios. Get, get, I couldn't even get that word out, guys. Adios, guys. Bye-bye.